everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome, Welcome to, to Ping Pong Podcast number 101. 101. Like the Dalmatians, except with ping pong. Little white uh, balls instead of spotted dogs. We're playing on the $129. What's this one called? Sportcraft. Sportcraft. Thought we'd change things up. We usually play over on the $599 Jula DX30, but this one's kind of nice to play on too sometimes. Feels a little better. Also nice to change up the uh, position of the audio, the, vi- uh, the video for you guys, because you want to see different parts of the store, right? Yay! Different Yay! See different parts of the store. We would play this one next to us, except there's a pole in the way. Yeah, the pole is a little dangerous for for playing. We would play on the one on the other side of the jewel, except. Uh, it's that outdoor one that's got kind of the metally top. It's made out of tin foil. We <laughs> can't play on the one in the middle because it doesn't have a net and it's broken. We can't play on the one on the end down the other end because it has no net and it's broken. But it's better than having all ping pong tables that don't have nets and are broken. There's four working ping pong tables. <clears throat> Karen said she wanted us to have one with foosball or air hockey or something. Like, you know, you gotta stick with the formula that works. We know nobody wants to watch us play ping pong. <laughs> we don't know if nobody wants to watch us play air hockey or foosball. Busy, busy with the ping pong. Busy, busy with the ping pong. A lot of pong now, a lot of ping. 
I desperately want to itch my face. Scratch my face? Touch in any way. Let's see if you're okay while I do it with my sleeve. <laughs> Untuck your pants. You could wipe your face on random merchandise in the, in the clothing. Well, that's why department. we didn't bring down, we're thinking about just bringing down the onesies. Like if we just bring down the onesies, you're going to put on the onesies. <laughs> then you're going to sweat in the onesies because it's warm in here. It's like, I don't want to sweat in their clothes. Although they were $29.99, marked down 70% to like $8.99. It's like a pretty good deal for uh, onesies. I wear onesies that much. If you want much. a unicorn or a, um, I think one of them was a llama. I think those were the two uh, choices of personalities in the onesie department. Sorry, that's you're more busy playing Pong. Okay. I got a message from Abby Zanz this week for all our AP Pie watchers. He's starting a new company where they develop rental motor scooters. Pants? No. Motor scooters. Electric more motor like scooters. Going to paddle. And so he's trying to, that are then used by delivery drivers but on a rental basis as opposed to them having to buy them or own them. Or them. And he's planning on starting this in Copenhagen where he lived the last couple of years. And so it's very interesting if anybody's interested in hearing about it, uh, Abby Zan's uh, ground floor opportunity for investment in his new company. Let me know and I will hook you up. No warranty. <laughs> but Abby Zan's is an interesting fellow. Informational purposes keeping only. Keeping in contact lately. We were in London a couple of years ago, and I didn't post that we were there until after we left. And then Abby sent me a message saying, hey dude, I was in London, why didn't you post while you were there? <laughs> so now Abby and I coordinate whenever we're in Europe. But he lives in the United States now, I think he's in San Diego again. Right? You'll have to let me know, Abby. There's always that fine line between telling people you're on vacation in the please don't rob my house world. And then the uh, alternative, which is letting people know where you are so you can get together with people in the cities you're visiting, so. Underneath shot. Hey, it came out the other side. Good job. And so we've been getting lots of calls this week because everybody wants their K-1s in our business. There's a form called the K-1 tax form. So all the investors want, it, it reports, gives the investors the way to report to the government how much they should pay in taxes or what their tax liability is for their investments with our companies. So everybody's calling, not because they like us, but because they want their K-1s. But we have to wait not only for our management companies to get all the accounting done, but then we have to wait for the CPAs to do the tax forms. <laughs> so it's like, we don't really have that much to do with it. Mary does a lot of work in getting all of it ready, but we don't have any control over it. We do have a newish CPA firm who's very on top of it, so that's nice, because we've had some weird ones in the past. So, you know, we the got one, the best the one, we could at the time. The one that was prior to this one sort of lost their job when they missed uh, getting the forms by a particular deadline, and we had to pay penalties, which I deducted from the payment of their uh, services invoice. <laughs> Did they squawk about it? No, I just caught the, waited to pay them until the bill came for how much the penalty was from the state of California, that they didn't file on time. And then when I paid their bill, I included a copy of the penalty statement from the state and said, you eat it. You were late. Not me. I guess I'm supposed to be sent and signed in the state of California by the 15th of March, and you don't send it to me the 16th or 17th of March. There's not much I can do about it. So I've also been reaching out to friends who I haven't talked to in a while. If you aren't among them yet, feel free to reach out to me. Quite so hard. Uh, talked a little bit to Ken Millhander, a little bit to Howard Dunn, a little bit to Dan Spitzer, and uh, more people on the list to come. You know, just kind of sending out an email, how are you? Because I don't think we do that much in this day and age with all the social networking, etc. But you don't necessarily talk to people who aren't on Facebook. It's like Karen Zapper and I are best friends now, but we rarely see each other in person. <laughs> whatever it is. And if you want to hide from all the craziness, come to the, one of the quietest places on the planet, our house. Or downstairs. Really quiet there. Woo! 
downstairs at Sears Del Amo, ladies and gentlemen. Downstairs at Sears Del Amo, pretty quiet too. You're going to have to dance for a while. If you let us know, we'll come meet you. And you can be on the Bing Pong podcast. I would say, or not, but that's not really an option. <laughs> we meet you going on the Bing Pong podcast. At Sears Del Amo Torrance. Sears Del Amo Torrance. Downstairs. In the sporting goods department and exercise equipment department. Save. Hey. So what else did you do today besides go to our design resources? I slept. <laughs> ah, pants! Pants Went nothing, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't know where the ball went, though. Uh-oh, now we have emergency. Oh, it's over. Did you talk about the item we have today? Oh, today's item is... I don't even know. I have to go around with the pole. Hold on a minute. I remember it's 19.99. Oh, cold therapy massage roller. There you go. That's what it is. So what would you use that for? Give me an example. I have no idea. Maybe you could look that up on the Google. Me? Somebody. My Google's over there. Somebody. No, video. the person who wishes to buy it can look it up on themselves. But we're not sure why anybody would want one of those. I, I, I just know that if you do want one, you can get one downstairs. If you know what it is and you want one, this, they're here. If you wish to research what they do, Please be my guest. Enjoy your educational experience. Abby said something about our volumes were getting better. <laughs> we aren't trying to get better. <laughs> well, but it's just by nature of repetition and practice that our volumes tend to last longer when we're getting better hand-eye coordination. We had the trying time period of time where we both had to play left handed because you were post shoulder surgery on your stiff thing, stitches. It still gets stiff sometimes. Oops, sorry, this is David. Oh! Yes, I did go to Flora and Decor and got a bunch of white towels. That was the other exciting thing I did today. And I tried to empty my email, email inbox, but that wasn't possible. I'll do it later. And there are auctions, interestingly, in London and Paris coming up. The previews in the next couple of weeks. It's like, do you go to London and Paris? Um, great deals on airfare. Great deals on airfare, but are there you know travel restrictions? From what I can tell, I was checking for flights, and you know most of the flights are kind of half empty. There was some sort of travel restriction on flights from Europe into the United States announced today. So huh. I would definitely look at that before we book today. <laughs> I assume that they would have to give you a refund at that point if they can't fly you to where you're supposed to go. Yes. But apparently the NBA has shut down their season, so it remains to be seen whether. NHL and March Madness and MLB. Well, March Madness has already announced they're uh, going to play the games without fans. Well, what do you do if a player is sick? <laughs> I am not in charge. Sorry. I'm thirsty. Hey, there is you too. They do not have a good water fountain downstairs at Sears. Uh, the last you want to dance a uh, fat water fountain, you got to go to Macy's. Phew! The last time. Coronavirus. Phew! No, they always come in pairs. The, uh, the last time I even tried to get water out of the drinking fountain, we didn't even attempt to wet this. There was no, no illusion that there was any water coming out anytime soon. Although it was plugged in and hot and running. Who knows why? They do have good tile work in the bathroom downstairs, downstairs at Sears. Anybody wants to see some decent tile work? I have seen decent tile work downstairs at Sears. But those are bathrooms are also uh, not so fresh. So we didn't go to the contemporary and modern art auctions in New York last week, partially out of not wanting to, and partially out of not wanting to spread the coronavirus, get sick over there, or bring it back. Uh, but the ones in in uh, London, there's, there's two in London. There's actually four in London and two in, uh, sorry, four in Paris and two in London. Um, 
are impressionist and modern instead of modern and contemporary. Impressionist and modern means older, like Gauguin and uh, Monet. 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 We've had Picasso. And, um, Pizarro and Picasso. Anyway, um, Rodin. Um, so it's older as opposed to new stuff like Jeff Koons or uh, Andy Warhol. Oh, like a Warhol, yeah. Or Yaoi Kusama. Or, uh. Takashi Mur Murakami? Murakami, that's it. Anybody who's alive is contemporary. <laughs> if they were alive not that long ago, it's popular. Before that, but after Impressionists would be modern. And then before modern, I mean before. Whee! Impressionists would be old masters. <laughs> of course, there's lots of little categories in between if you're good at art. Look, I'm gonna scratch my face, but with my shirt suit. I think we are ready for our final volley. Alrighty then. Thank you everybody for watching. Make sure to like, share, and comment. We appreciate it. Let us know if you'd like to come play ping pong with us. Downstairs is Sears. We guarantee there is a very little chance of well, especially getting infected with anything except ping pong fever. Let us know in advance so we can have four paddles unless there are four paddles back there. There are, four, there are a lot of paddles back there. Ah, well, I guess there are a lot of paddles for your best. Because every time they open up a table, it comes with two paddles and a bad ball. Oh, I see. Well, we've stepped on plenty of our shares of bad balls, so. <laughs> I hope you've had a marvelous time today. Boom. Thanks for watching, and thanks to George Burns, too. Oh, we got to put the price tag back. Price tag, 129 Bye-bye.